Hangar 13 Games is currently creating two video games right now, Project Nero and Project Hammer. Project Hammer is the code name for Top Spin 5, a sequel to the popular tennis game Top Spin 4, which was developed by 2K Czech and released on March 15, 2011. Project Nero is the code name for Mafia 4. It will be on Unreal Engine 5 and will be a prequel to the Mafia trilogy so it will take place before the events of the first game. The game is also planned to take place in Italy. This is all the information that is publicly known about the game currently. The rumors about playing as a young Salieri is just a rumor, with no legitimate sources to back it up. Also, it doesn't make sense to play as a young Salieri, since he didn't join the Mafia until he was in America. So I doubt the next Mafia game will be about Salieri. In my opinion, it will be brand new characters. It would make more sense to play as a young Don Pep Own or Don Kahlo. Either way, the next Mafia game is currently in production. The very first Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer released on December 4th. The game takes place in modern Vice City, and the game is expected to release 2025. This begs the question, when will the next Mafia game release? You're probably asking yourself, what does GTA 6 releasing have to do with Mafia? Well, the answer is everything. Not many people know this, but the GTA franchise and the Mafia franchise are owned by Take-Two Interactive. So whether you're a GTA fan, a Mafia fan, or both, Take-Two wins in the end because they own both intellectual properties. GTA 6 is being developed by Rockstar North, while the next Mafia game is being developed by Hangar 13 Games. GTA 6 will be published by Rockstar Games, while the next Mafia game will be published by 2K Games. Because Take-Two Interactive is a publicly traded company on the US stock market, they want to please their investors above all else. Every three months, four times a year, Take-Two has an earnings report conference where they try to please their investors, so their stock price can increase for their shareholders. This means, Take-Two will most likely want to maximize the amount of money they can make from releasing both Mafia 4 and GTA 6. This means you will not see the next Mafia game and GTA 6 releasing during the same quarter. It would be financial suicide for Mafia 4 to release during the same quarter as GTA 6. Either Mafia 4 will release before GTA 6 or it will release after GTA 6. You won't see both games released within the same quarter. I feel bad for any game that releases the same month that GTA 6 releases. GTA 5's official first trailer debuted on November 2nd, 2011, and the game released two years later on September 17th, 2013. Rockstar Games has already announced that GTA 6 will be released in two years in 2025. This follows the same pattern as GTA 5, which was also released two years after its first trailer. All we know about the upcoming Mafia game is the following. On August 29th, 2022, the article, Mafia 20th Anniversary Developer Interview, was published to MafiaGame.com. In the article, the following question was asked to Hangar 13's general manager, Roman Hladik. Can you tell us anything about what's next for the Mafia franchise? And Hladik responded by saying, I'm happy to confirm we've started work on an all-new Mafia project. While it's a few years away and we can't share anything more right now, we're really excited to keep working on this beloved franchise and to entertain our players with new stories. This article from 2022 is the only legitimate news we have so far regarding the next Mafia game. Hangar 13's general manager, Roman Hladik said, it's a few years away. This interview was from 2022, and a few can mean two to three, so we can expect the next Mafia game to be released in 2025. The reason I say 2025 is because 2024 is almost here, and usually Hangar 13 leaves one year between the game's first trailer and release date. Mafia 3 was first announced on August 5th, 2015 via the Mafia 3 Worldwide Reveal trailer and the game released a year later on October 6, 2016. In its first week of being released, Mafia 3 shipped 4.5 million copies, making it the fastest-selling Mafia game in history. 
In a Q4 2020 earnings call, Take Two President Carl Slatoff reiterated the importance of the Mafia franchise in the company's portfolio, while confirming that Mafia 3 sold roughly 7 million units. Take Two President said the following, In terms of the Mafia opportunity, Mafia has been an incredibly successful franchise for us over a long period of time, between Mafia, Mafia 2, Mafia 3. And just to give you an idea, Mafia 3 has already sold in about 7 million units or so. Mafia 2 was also incredibly successful and the first one as well, so it's been a significant contributor for us. This was from 2020. The actual number of Mafia games sold is much higher now. Mafia 1 sold 404,000 copies on Steam. Mafia Definitive Edition sold 1.6 million copies on Steam. Mafia 2 sold 3.2 million copies on Steam. Mafia 2 Definitive Edition sold 535,000 copies on Steam. Mafia 3 sold 7 million copies. And Mafia 3 Definitive Edition sold 1.3 million copies on Steam. The actual number of Mafia games sold is higher. We only have the data from Steam publicly available. The most sold Mafia game is Mafia 3. The game shipped 4.5 million copies in its first week. Shipped means copies sent to retailers, not to actual players. If you combine Mafia 3 with Mafia 3 Definitive Edition, which is just Mafia 3 with all DLCs included, then Mafia 3 has sold over 8.3 million copies. The Mafia franchise is still a moneymaker to take to Interactive. Here is the complete Mafia game timeline. On August 29, 2002, Mafia The City of Lost Heaven released for PC. And in 2004, Mafia was ported for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Then on August 24, 2010, Mafia 2 was released. And Mafia 2's DLCs, Betrayal of Jimmy, Jimmy's Vendetta, and Joe's Adventures released shortly after. Then, six years later, on October 6, 2016, Mafia 3 released. In March 2017, Mafia 3's Faster Baby DLC released. In May 2017, Mafia 3's Stones Unturned DLC was released. And in July 2017, Mafia 3's Sign of the Times DLC released. Then on September 25, 2020, Mafia Definitive Edition released. If GTA 6 was not a thing, then we could have expected to see the next Mafia Games trailer in Fall 2024 and the game to release in Fall 2025. However, since GTA 6 is set to release in 2025, and GTA 5 released September 17, 2013, it's safe to assume GTA 6 will release in Fall 2025. Given what we now know, I would not be surprised if Take-Two tells 2K Games to release Mafia 4 Summer 2025. This means we can expect to see a trailer for the next Mafia game this summer. This is all an estimation, of course. Things are bound to change due to politics, wars, the economy, and other factors. Let me know down in the comments when you think we'll see a Mafia 4 trailer, and when you think the game will be released. And are you more excited for Mafia 4 or GTA 6? I know it's stupid to compare a game with an alleged $2 billion budget with a game from a small studio, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, then please support me by becoming a member of this channel today. Join the familia today at youtube.com slash at mafia game videos slash join. Link is in the description below. I appreciate your support. Thank you.